You've invested a lot of money in the purchase of a motorhome, and now you should be able to enjoy this investment. One of the most annoying situations on vacation is to have difficulty with your tires. The goal of this video is to cover industry-approved preventative maintenance procedures to show how to get the most value from your RV tires. The chassis of your motorhome is rated to carry a specific amount of weight. The weight rating of each axle is established by the capacity of the lowest rated component of your suspension system, such as springs, axles, brakes, bearings, hubs, wheels, and tires. Once the chassis is built, it is sold to your motorhome manufacturer who builds the body. While you may have acres of space to store things, it's very important not to exceed the GAWR, Gross Axle Weight Rating, the GVWR, Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, or the GCWR, the Gross Combined Weight Rating of your motorhome. These ratings are normally found near the driver's door or in the closet. The GAWR is how much weight an axle can carry. If your front axle is rated at 5,000 pounds, each end of the axle can support 2,500 pounds, not 3,000 pounds on one side and 2,000 pounds on the other. If the dual axle is rated at 10,000 pounds, each end of the axle can carry up to 5,000 pounds. The GVW is the maximum a vehicle can weigh fully loaded with passengers, cargo, and liquids. One important load consideration for RV owners to know is, what can I load for a trip and not be overloaded? Starting with vehicles manufactured after September 1, 2000, you will start seeing a label listing the vehicle's CCC, or cargo carrying capacity. This will be a label showing your GVW minus the following. Your manufactured UVW, unloaded vehicle weight the calculations of your full fresh water weight, the calculations of your full LP gas weight, and the calculations of your SCWR, or sleeping capacity weight rating. The GCWR is the total weight of the motorhome plus any load added by the towed vehicle or trailer. All the chassis components have weight ratings. In order to find the weight ratings of your tires, look at the sidewall. The sidewall of your tires tells you the tire size, the type of tire, the maximum load the tire can carry in a single or dual tire application, and the amount of air pressure required to support the load. If the air pressure in the tire is reduced, the carrying capacity of the tire is also reduced. In addition, you can determine the age of the tire by looking at the DOT number located on one side of your sidewall. The last digit on the right is the year the tire was manufactured. DOT markings related to the year of production may have an additional symbol for the decade of the 90s. This would be shown as a triangle following the last number. Tires manufactured beginning in the year 2000 have an additional two digits. The last two show the year of production, and the first two digits indicate the week of production. For example, this DOT indicates that the tire was manufactured during the 22nd week of 2000. This example indicates that the tire was manufactured in the 1980s or earlier. Your Michelin tire is the result of exhaustive hours of research and development. Cutting edge design, manufacturing, and testing are used to ensure the best tire designed for your motorhome. Basically, a tire is an envelope which holds air under pressure. However, it is the combination of air and tire which support the vehicle and its load. Notice that your tire is rated for two different wheel positions. In a single position, on a steer or a tag axle, the tire can carry 3,640 pounds with an inflation pressure of 95 PSI cold. If the same tire is used on a dual position, it can carry 3,415 pounds at 95 PSI cold. 
The reason the same tire carries less load when used in dual is because the weight is not distributed equally across the axle when the vehicle is being driven. We have talked about cold air pressure. This is the pressure in the tire before the coach has been driven. On short or extended trips, your tire pressure should be checked before departure. How much air pressure do you need in your tires? The amount of air pressure required is dependent on the weight of your fully loaded vehicle. On an automobile, you look on the car door to find the plate indicating your tire's proper air pressure. The difference between one car and another of the same model is generally in the variety of options, which have little effect on the vehicle's load. However, on a motorhome, loading difference can be much greater considering the many options available as well as the additional cargo which may be loaded onto the motorhome. Looking at your motorhome's data plate, you will see a recommended PSI listed based on your vehicle's maximum gross axle weight rating. However, the proper air pressure needed can only be determined by weighing your vehicle. To obtain this weight, you will need to take your fully loaded vehicle to a public scale. Also, if you are towing a vehicle or trailer, you will need to know your motorhome's gross combined weight rating. This is the total actual loaded weight of your motorhome plus total actual loaded weight of the towed unit. When the GCWR has more to do with the drivetrain design limits, this additional weight can also affect the tires and how your motorhome handles. You will find public access scales in a variety of places such as moving and storage company lots, farm suppliers, gravel pits, and large commercial truck stops. If you are not aware of a nearby public scale, check your area telephone book yellow pages. There are two types of scales found in the industry, platform scales and segmented scales. A platform scale is one piece and can only give one weight at a time. A segmented scale has multiple platforms and can give more than one weight at a time. The segmented scale is the easiest type of scale to weigh your motorhome. There is a nominal fee charged at many of these scales, however, it is money well spent. In normal vehicle loading, it is common to have loads on one side of an axle greater or lesser than loads found on the other side of an axle. Therefore, we recommend you obtain individual weights on each corner or axle end of your vehicle. On a platform scale, place the left front vehicle position on the scale and record the load found. Next, place both left front and left rear wheel positions on the scale and record this reading. By subtracting your left front weight from your left side weight, you will obtain your left rear weight. Note. If a vehicle is equipped with a tag axle, you will have to obtain the load on this axle using the same procedure. Use the same procedure for the right side of the vehicle. By combining all measurements, you will obtain your total gross vehicle weight. To obtain individual corner load measurements on a segmented scale, first position the left side tires on each segment and record the values. Repeat this procedure for the right side of the vehicle. By combining all measurements, you will obtain your total gross vehicle weight. Also, if you are towing a vehicle or trailer, you will need to know the weight of all wheel positions to obtain your gross combined weight. This weight can be compared to the gross combined weight rating found on the vehicle plaque. Remember, even though your total gross vehicle weight or axle weight may be within your vehicle weight ratings, your vehicle may be overloaded on one side. To determine this, compare the highest load found in single and dual application to the maximum load carrying capacity of your tires. If an overload is found, inspect the position to see if it is possible to redistribute any cargo or liquids which may lighten the position. It is critical that you use the higher axle end weight when determining the air pressure needed for your tires and that you use this pressure on both sides of the axle. Keep in mind that your wheel is also rated for maximum load and air pressure. This information is stamped on the wheel 
or can also be obtained from the wheel manufacturer. Tire manufacturers publish charts which show the proper inflation pressure for a given load. For free tire charts and maintenance tips on Michelin tires, please phone us at 1-800-847-3435 or visit our website at www.michelintruck.com. Now that you know how to properly inflate your tires, let's look at a few quick tips on motorhome tire care. Have your tires inspected thoroughly every time the motorhome is serviced and any time you drive in rough or rocky terrain. A thorough tire inspection should include both the outside and inside sidewalls, the tread area, the valves, the metal caps, and any valve extensions. Inspect for nails, cuts, bulges, weather checking and ozone cracking. Over time, this is a natural occurrence in the aging process of rubber. This chart published by Michelin shows various degrees of this condition. In addition, there are tire conditions which can occur on specific wheel positions. Steer tires can develop odd wear patterns. This can best be detected by running your hands around the tread area you will generally feel dipping or cupping before you see it. Also, move your hands across the tread, feeling for feathered edges, which are generally felt in only one direction. This may be an indication that the alignment should be checked. If correct and proper alignment are both continually maintained, tire rotation may never be needed. However, in other cases, tire rotation may be needed to help even out alignment under inflation or free rolling wear conditions. Michelin recommends including the spare tire into the rotation pattern and changing the direction of tire rotation. Tires can be rotated front to rear and side to side. Tires mounted in dual application should be matched with no greater than 4 seconds of an inch tread depth difference between the tires. It is recommended that the tire with the least tread depth be mounted on the inside dual position. When checking air pressures on dual drive tires, it is important to ensure that you maintain the same PSI in all tires across the axle. At this time, it is also important to look at the dual tires to make sure that nothing is lodged between them. In the commercial tire industry, a tire is considered flat when it is operated at 20% under its recommended inflation pressure, which is determined by the load and inflation table used for your specific tire. In this situation, the tire should be inspected for the cause of the air loss. This would include cuts, penetrating objects, valve, valve extension, or wheel leaks. Operating a tire below 20% of the recommended inflation pressure for any length of time can lead to a serious zipper rupture condition. Do not air up this type of tire without proper inspection by trained personnel. In addition, if you experience a flat tire, it is important to have the tire demounted from the wheel inspected on the inside for any other damage that the penetrating object may have caused, and properly repaired using accepted industry repair procedures. Never have an on-wheel plug repair made to your tire. Extreme caution must be taken to ensure that the tires are fully supported when using blocks to level motorhomes. While leveling your coach, never block a tire with only part of your tread supported. This can cause damage to the radial cords in the sidewall and stresses the tread. Blocking only one dual will cause that tire to be severely overloaded and will bring it out of service early. When the motorhome is parked for any length of time, it is recommended to cover the tires. After a trip, wash your tires with mild soap and water. If you must use a tire dressing, Follow the directions and make sure it doesn't contain petroleum, alcohol, or silicone. 
the life of a tire used on a motorhome cannot just be measured in miles. In addition to the normal aging process of rubber, your tire life depends on driving habits, driving conditions, environment, and maintenance. A passenger car operates on four tires, supporting 3,000 pounds of load. A motorhome operates on six or more tires, supporting an average of 30,000 pounds. The responsibility of the operator to properly inspect and maintain the vehicle is greatly increased. At Michelin, we are always working to offer our customers the highest quality tire. Michelin, a better way forward.